ABC 7 News starts right now with live breaking news. Women who choose to have mastectomies to prevent cancer are learning there are recent medical advances that make the trauma much less severe for them. ABC 7 News anchor and health and science reporter Carolyn Johnson is here with the story. Carolyn. Well, Cheryl, surgeons are now able to preserve areas around the breast for later reconstruction, and the results are often so natural that women are able to put much of the ordeal behind them, at least cosmetically. How does this feel in here? Yep, yeah, feels yeah. fine. Melanie Purcell is now fully recovered from a surgery she chose to have after giving birth to her second child at age 32. She says her mother had been diagnosed with breast cancer at 42, and after she suffered her own scare with thyroid cancer, she decided to take the protective step against breast cancer. At that point, it was a pretty easy decision for me that I wanted to have a prophylactic double mastectomy. Melanie says her decision was made easier by recent advancements in surgery that preserve more of the breast. The surgery that actually had performed my thyroidectomy um, was known for doing a nipple sparing mastectomy where I knew that I he could save my nipples and my breast could look like my actual breasts. What you see here is uh, one of these newer approved um, highly cohesive silicone gel implants that you notice have a, a teardrop or what patients feel is a very natural appearance. After her double mastectomy, Melanie turned to Kamakshi yep, Zeidler, right. a cosmetic surgeon in Campbell. Dr. Zeidler says the new generation of breast implants are far better at imitating the shape and texture of the human breast. The technology is developed that can make breast reconstruction uh, much more natural looking. Um, the first is the highly cohesive silicone implants, what are commonly referred to as gummy bears. They're highly cohesive silicone that hold their shapes. A second advance, she says, is the refinement of a technique known as fat transfer. Fat is often taken from the waist area and then used to soften and sculpt the shape of the new breast. I've had patients say that no one knows that they've had the surgery, certainly don't even know that they have implants. For Melanie, who's now several months out from her reconstruction, the news that actress Angelina Jolie has gone public with her own double mastectomy is comforting, but perhaps not as comforting as the strategic decision she believes will help protect her against an elevated risk of breast cancer. I feel wonderful. It's a decision I am so glad that I made because it's something that I know I'll never have to look over my shoulder about again. Now, Dr. Seidler also points to a technology developed here in the Bay Area called Air Expanders. It's a device that forms a pocket in the breast area to help stretch scar tissue and to accommodate the new implants. And Dan, it's actually controlled by the patients herself with the touch of a button, and it's often much less painful than traditional saline injections. Really? Options just developing all the time mm -hmm. these days. Uh, Carolyn, thanks very much. Carolyn Johnson reporting for us.